Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you top 20 tips and tricks for Lenovo Vibe K5 Note. The Vibe K5 Note comes with a fingerprint scanner in its pack. Apart from unlocking the phone, the fingerprint scanner can also be used for navigate around the UI and taking pictures. For example, tapping on the fingerprint scanner once will take you a step back while pressing and holding the scanner can bring up the recent app list. You can also find all fingerprint gesture related option on the Vibe K5 Note by heading over to settings, tap on feature, tap on fingerprint gesture and switching on the fingerprint to take a photo option and configure other options according to your requirement. Did you know that you can also use the fingerprint scanner to lock and unlock application by using an app called App Lock. You can lock apps and then unlock them once your fingerprint is verified. You can quickly enable the flashlight on the Vibe K5 node by long pressing the home button while on the lock screen. You need to first enable this feature by going to settings, scroll down, tap on future and again scroll down and enable quick flashlight option. Now you can use it. The Vibe K5 Note also has supported for the Lenovo Quick Snap feature which help in capturing a picture when your device is locked. Double press the volume button when you are on the log screen which apparently open the camera app and captures the picture. If you triple tap and hold you can temporarily magnify your screen then just release it to go back to normal. It is a super useful feature. Once you start using it, how to enable it, go to settings, tap on accessibility, tap on magnification gesture and set the switch to the on position. That is it. Now you can use it. One of the few customization options that Lenovo has added to K5 Note is ability to tweak the display color mode. This feature allows you to tweak the display color balance to display default mode or comfort mode. You can tweak the color balance of the device display by going to settings, tap on display option, tap on device color mode balance. Here you can select it according to your requirement. With Google, you can easily help regarding whatever you happen to be doing on your K5 Note from the home screen. Simply tap and hold home key to access Google now. From here, tap on mic icon. You also have the option of saying OK Google to launch a voice search. You can ask anything from Google. For example, say OK Google, what is the time in London? The time in London, UK is 2.10 pm. In K5 Note keyboard, bring a lot of new tricks and features, including a one-handed mode. You can access one-handed mode from the keyboard settings or adjust it on the fly by long pressing on the comma and swipe right. It allows you to easily adjust the keyboard for left or right-handed user in the keyboard settings. Power saving mode is used to enhance the battery life of your device during the low battery condition. To use this on your device, open the settings, swipe down and tap on power manager, click on battery saver and set the switch to the on position.
Guest mode is a basically a special profile that you can enable on your K5 Note for guesting and friends. You can selecting the application that you want to enable in guest mode and the guest will only be able to use those application. So for example, if you want the guest to use only the default phone apps, you can enable it and all other apps would not be accessible like a personal message, call history and apps etc. That are the reason why you should use guest mode on your Android device. How to enable guest mode? Go to settings, swipe down, tap on users, tap on add guest, that is it. Sometimes you will line up the perfect group selfie only to realize that you cannot get on the screen. Shutter button will running the shot. If you want to able to tap anywhere on the screen to take a photo. Then tap on menu button to open your camera options. Then tap on setting icon. Tap on snap mode. From here just select touch. That is it. Now you can click the photos by tapping on anywhere. How to take a screenshot on K5 Note? Go to the screen on which you want to capture a screenshot. Press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. The screenshot will be taken and saved in the gallery folder. You can access it from file manager. How to take long screenshot on K5 note? Again, go to the screen on which you want to capture a screenshot. Swipe down the notification toggle screen, tap on screenshot, now tap on long screenshot, click next button. Again click next. Next, next, and finally tap on save. The screenshot will be taken and saved in the gallery folder. You can access it from file manager. Control your phone with voice. You can control your phone just saying OK Google to launch a voice search from this screen. Now you can control your device with voice command for example say OK Google turn on the flashlight. OK Google turn off the flashlight. Lift the phone while it is ringing and the ringtone will be stopped and phone will continue to silent mode. The device does support the USB OTG on it and helps in transferring the data from the device to drive. Connect OTG cable and use it. The Vibe K5 Note also comes with the support for Dolby items and Lenovo has further tweaked this feature a bit. In the Vibe K5 Note, you can choose between various preloaded profiles such as movie, music, gaming, voice etc. 
you can even create your own custom profile of your liking you can launch the dolby atom features you can launch the dolby atom feature from the settings tap on ringtones and volume option tap on dolby atoms alternatively you can launch the dolby atoms from the settings toggle screen one of the most new and the oldest feature of lenovo vibe ui it is called the white touch the white touch feature creates a floating menu that provide quick access to application like the camera calculator etc it is also seen in the ios device and it is a really useful feature if you don't mind having a small icon floating over all the display to configure the white touch feature go to settings tap on features option and enable white touch option knock to light this is the one of the latest feature introduced in vibe ui the screen of unlock is quite similar to double tap the screen of unlock allow as you to unlock the device just by swipe vertically at the bottom of the screen it let you reduce the excessive pressing of the lock key which obviously extend the durability of the button it also saves the time and taps usually you first unlock the device then swipe up to unlock and reach the home screen having a necessary app and servicing running in the background can affect the overall system performance by default android does not provide user with any control on preventing app from auto starting themselves at boot lenovo had the foresight of including this handy option on the k5 note go to settings tap on power manager tap on background app management and you will get a list of all the apps that auto start now simply tap on apps to prevent them from auto starting the process of this app will also stop running in the background once the screen of your phone turn off to preserve battery life however if the app itself is running in the background the process will not be killed so as to interfere with its work so that is it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to like and share this video Please hit the red subscribe button and get new videos update for free.